Hi, everyone. Welcome to Just Wing It with Blake and Jamie. How's everybody doing? Hi, Kristen. Hi, Lily. How are you? Wait now, Blake. Hi, Dee Dee. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. And Carter. Hi, Carter. And Ken, how are you? We got a full team today. Hi, Alyssa. How are you? Thanks for coming in. So how has everybody's day been today? Yes, I'm excited to join too, Kristen. My my day was really long. Oh, I'm so glad, Didi. Glad that it's going great. And and you said so far. Well, it's kind of towards the end of the night, so I think you got it. Um, you're okay for the rest of the night. <laughs> you got through most of it, right? <laughs> Oh, good, Alyssa. Yeah. So what did everyone eat today for dinner? I'm, I'm starving, so I haven't gotten to eat. I went, I had a really long day. So I'll get to eat soon as I get off here. Ooh, some pizza. I love some pizza. I may or may not want to know what Ken um had for dinner. <laughs> I might get jealous. Ooh, took seven for a steak before practice, but I couldn't afford another meal, so I had a bite of a steak and salad. Aw. <laughs> yeah, you got to spoil the kids, right? And then uh, mom's uh, sacrifice. Fried chicken, fries, and onion rings, all homemade. Oh, yep, I knew I'd be jealous. Shouldn't have told. Shouldn't have asked Ken. I know we all need some of Ken's cooking. Blake must be running behind. Oh, there he is, you guys. Sorry. Hi, Blake. I just got in the door. <laughs> oh, good. Glad you're here. Sorry, sorry. I'm late. How's oh, everybody? It's okay. Good, good. We got a uh, full group today. Good, good. That's good. I'm glad. Everybody knows our time now. We're all fixed <laughs> and, and good to go. I think so, yeah. Uh, so how was your day? It was good. It was long. I, I had a lot of stuff I had to take care of today. It was like, I don't know, like seven or eight yards. It was a lot. Um, wow. I had to go to the next town over, too, actually. That was, wow. It was just, it was a long day. How about you? Oh, that, uh, mine was a long day, too. I had a 7 a.m. meeting. They had to be there, so I had to be to work by 6.30, and then I had a 5 p.m. meeting, so I didn't get out of work till about 6. So I was rushing back um, to hurry up and get rid of my makeup and get ready for for the uh, podcast. Well, I'm glad you uh, 
got some peace for the day. It was, I'm sure it's, it it sounds like it was a long one. Yeah, it was, but you know what? Friday, I'll try to leave early. (laughs) (laughs) I know that's, that's the thing about my job that the guys don't really like is we don't know what time we're going to get off. And some days it's really early. And then other days it's really, it's a little bit later. And I'm like, I mean, I understand it's frustrating not knowing what time we get off, but it's one of those jobs kind of where we get done when the the job is done. Yeah, absolutely. So I I try not to, I try not to let anything carry over into the next day if I don't have to, but it's hard to actually get that to happen. So. So, So, um, were you able to get something to eat? I haven't eaten yet. I'm going to go eat dinner at, at my girlfriend's house tonight. I think her grandma's cooking fajitas. So that's Ooh. what's for dinner. Ooh, fajitas. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I have some leftover, week-old leftover ham <coughs> that I'm going to microwave. And um, I have the bread from this morning so I can eat some, uh, uh, like a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it says no Burger King and Dr. Pepper. Uh, I got a case of them right here. He's <laughs> got his Dr. Yet. Pepper. <laughs> I always have my Dr. Pepper, bro. You won't catch me lacking. You guys, I'm so sad. I um, <laughs> no, it's not too old for leftovers. It's been uh-huh. in the fridge, Kristen. <laughs> um. Hi, Francesca. Thanks for coming in. Hey. Good to see everybody. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. What was I going to just say now? I just lost um, what, what I was going to say. I, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I've been doing that a lot lately, you guys. My, my brain is it's like must be on overload or whatever. And it's funny because Francesca was just asking me about those, um, the brain health supplements that I've been taking. Uh-huh. If it works, if it works, clearly it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally walked out of my office today to ask my secretary something and I got to her desk and it just went away. And I just stood there like, what the heck was I going to ask? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then and she goes, was it about this? I'm like, no. Was it about this? I'm like, no. And I'm like, never mind. I will let you know when I um, figure it out. I never did figure it out. I don't know what I was going to ask her. Yeah, we are getting old. Oh, my gosh. I feel older I than feel I old. even am. I oh, my goodness. Old. You're a young and you're not old. <laughs> <laughs> you're still a youngster. You're my kid's age. For no, sake. come on now. <laughs> I'm still. That's, I could be your mom. <laughs> True enough. I'm 27 though. Oh, 27? I thought you were 25. No, I just had my 27th birthday just the other day. Oh, I thought you turned to. Okay. My daughter's 25, so she's a little younger than you. So I guess yeah. I, I'm i a little younger than I couldn't be your mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, my goodness. I, I just, oh, I love my mama. She's so awesome. She means the world to me. Well, I'm glad that you're close. It's so nice when you people are close to their parents. I'm very mm-hmm. close to my parents, too. Um. Ken wasn't as close to his parents, but but I'm very close to my parents. Yes, I want to be forever young too. Oh my goodness! But yeah, I um. Oh my gosh! Oh, did you did you guys like where are were you all with the eclipse? Were you able to see like because where was um in Midland? Were you were you able to see a hundred percent or where were you at with the eclipse? I didn't see a hundred percent. We only saw a little bit of it. Like uh the the sun didn't like 
totally go away for us. Yeah, uh, we were. We were. I don't even at think 90... we probably got like sixty. Really, in Texas, I thought uh, um, it started in Texas and it was a hundred percent in that path. Maybe uh, not it, Midland, maybe. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, it probably, it probably did. Did it get really dark over there? In Illinois, I'm in um, central, like I'm a little bit of southern Illinois. Um, uh-huh. So I was at 99%. So we had just oh. a little sliver um, of the sun. I did a video, really? but I don't think it was very, it was a very good video because I, I had to tape my eclipse glasses over my phone and then try to get the video. And so it, I think it was too distant. Um, it wasn't until Bentley got home could I see any proof. Oh, okay, Ken. You don't think what? it came to Flo- Florida, Francesca? Maybe not. I think not, probably not because I think Georgia was like, Ken, didn't you say like 85%? Um, oh, Kristen says, let's try Mellow Luca supplements. They'll keep us younger and healthier. It was really cloudy here in San Antonio, but I was on the lake and it got super dark. Oh, I bet that was cool to see though, Kristen, on um, on the lake. Yeah, the glasses. I taped it to the um, the uh, uh, the eclipse glasses to the lens, so then it could because they said that's how like you could like see the eclipse or something. Huh. Oh, actually, I could have um, been his mom, Alyssa. You're a little late to the party. Um, <laughs> if I was, if I was 16 and had a uh, Blake, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Canes. Lily says Canes. What's that mean? Oh, Melaleuca is um, a new company that Kristen's selling for um, supplements, and it has like. All natural made stuff, like even household stuff, like cleaners and um, uh, supplements, um, healthy stuff. Um, like even the cleaning stuff is so natural that if, like, say a kid ate it or ate uh-huh. drank it, or it, it wouldn't hurt the kid. So that's what the Maluka is, Ken. Huh. But you spelled it wrong. But yeah, I knew what you said i just learned about it on monday um and i'm looking into like looking at like the products and it's all yeah um kristen says my look is an all natural non-toxic cleaning products beauty products and supplements healthy products yeah what jamie's saying (laughs) i i i tried to pay attention on monday kristen (laughs) so yeah i i um I was going to look at their website and see what we need uh, because I'm not home. So I don't know like what kind of products that we still need for at home. Like if we're out of like this cleaning supply or, you know, whatever. So, but yeah, so, but I do want to look at the, uh, um, supplements too because i buy all that all those supplements at walmart all the uh like uh um you know like the brain health stuff and all that so i do i do want to look at those products but kristen said the bad thing is she thinks that they don't sell gummies i think they're all capsules or something and you guys if you've watched my channel enough you know i have to have gummies yeah. <laughs> Kristen says, I'm excited to review products like Jamie reviews makeup. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little obsessed with my makeup. Even though, you guys, I've been so good. I have not bought really, other than my Ipsy, I have not bought any makeup in almost a year. Because huh. I can't... Um, yeah but i do keep my ipsy it'll help your blood sugar to not take 100 gummies every day (laughs) i know but i like Uh my gummies (laughs) but um but yeah so the where was everybody else at in the eclipse so francesca you said you didn't really um get 
get much. And Kristen, you got to see um, quite a bit of it being in San Antonio. I wonder at what percentage I, it was. I heard San Antonio didn't... went really, really dark. Because she said it got cloudy, but not dark. Oh. Because Kristen lives in San Antonio. Oh. I met her I'm whenever I, I worked in Christ, uh, worked in Kristen, Wor worked with Kristen in San Antonio. I had an assignment in San Antonio. That's how I met Kristen. In the same in San Antonio, and um, she was one of the managers that volunteered to work with me. Silly her, and uh, huh. and then we just became friends. We've been friends since. San Antonio okay. got really dark. Oh, San Antonio got really dark. Yes, Dallas had clear view, and I got great pics from there. Oh, you were in Dallas at that. Okay, I thought you. I didn't know you went to Dallas. Got it. But yeah. I didn't. I, I and I heard Dallas didn't get a whole lot of it either. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. So Blake, I finally they finally tallied up all the results of March Madness. <coughs> but, <coughs> so I found guess, this out. Hold on, my mom. She so the way it works with her company is. Uh, it doesn't matter who wins it. So what they go off is the price of oil. The whatever the 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 cost of a barrel of oil is, they multiply that times ten, and that's what the winner gets. And everybody who picked UConn versus Purdue wins. So, yay! So we all won. <laughs> I I get I won five dollars from it. You know why I won five dollars? Why? I got my money back. Because I was last place, and they gave last place f their five dollars back. <laughs> oh, that's rough, Jamie. That's bad. <laughs> that that's how bad I am. With I don't watch basketball, so I had. I mean, I don't really watch guess. it either. You can just kind of, you can kind of really, you can guess like the last four usually. Usually the last four you can always get to or let the elite eight is what they call it. And those teams are usually pretty commonly the same, except for last year they had uh, St. Mary's go to the final four or, or it was the, it was either the final four or the elite eight. And it was the first time a team that low in seed had ever got there. So Pretty cool accomplishment. Something we had never seen before last year. This year it was pretty. It was it was like everybody who was expected to almost everybody who was expected to be there got there. <clears throat> My picks were pretty much right. I got I got over half the picks right. So I did good. See, but you know basketball, I don't. <laughs> I got last place. <laughs> At least you get your money back. Yeah, because I got last place. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> Francesca, I would think that um, you would still get the full benefits for, um, from pill form and gummies because it's, I mean, you're still digesting it as a gummy. You know, you get, I would think so. Oh, and Kristen says, Francesca, yes, the company has decades of data to support their pro products. My grandmother worked for them years ago and told me, about it because she misses their products. What products, Kristen, are you talking about? Are you talking about the gummies? But yeah, I would think that um, if it's pill or gummies, it would still be the same um, absorption. But so what are you going to do this weekend, Blake? Anything exciting? I think me and my girlfriend are going to uh, – we've been building Legos recently. Like, that's been come our, our little thing. We'll build a Lego set. And so I think we're going to go buy a Lego set and build it and watch a movie. Like a small one? Well, we've done small ones. We've done big ones. Well, not really big ones, medium-sized ones, but – this is a cool little date night thing for y'all if y'all hadn't done it yet. 
Blake lives in Midland. That's I met Blake when I uh, worked in Midland, Kristen. Hey, Hoss. I met. Well, we've actually never met in person. Yeah, yeah actually, I met. I should take that back. You're right. Yeah. I met his sister because it's. I worked right. with his sister at the hospital, and she introduced me to Blake virtually, and then I right. started the podcast. But yeah, right. I've never met Blake in person. Because when we started doing the podcast, it was like right when I was leaving Midland. So I didn't get to meet him in person. Right. So. Anyway, what's new in the world? Tell me about your job. Have you settled in finally? Are you Actually, pleased with they, it? Yeah, I got some good news today. They are extending me till August. So I get to stay oh. till August. So it's not like I have to up and move but the bad thing is this hotel room is i mean it wasn't even available for the three months that i was going to be here and they worked the magic to get me this hotel room that's awesome and now but they only have it till may so now they got to work their magic to try to get, them <laughs> to get me till august because it's not available through it's august it's not there either. that long no, it's they'll like have you sleeping in the hotel in, in the in the uh hospital. <laughs> I know that's about how it's gonna be. I keep having to move. That's I'm like, <laughs> I am not I'm not moving my shit out of this hotel room <laughs> in, until I am done with my assignment. I'm not gonna keep doing this back and forth. I, hear that. <laughs> I don't like it either. You guys, I don't know what we did. On one of our lives, I got a strike against me because there was a copyright. And we never have anything in our video. Or, so I don't know. So I got one strike against me. I was so mad. What did we get? What did we do? I don't know. There was a 27-second song that must have been, that it must have picked up. A song? Like 27 seconds. There must have been something in the background. I don't know if it was where I they um, removed the video, so I couldn't even go back and look and to see like see what which it was. video it was. Yeah, that's the, weird like, to hear it in. Yeah. Anyway, it's, YouTube can be dumb. <laughs> yeah, I she don't can't remember think. that. No, I did not sing. <laughs> no, it was something in the background. Um, it must have been playing or something. I don't know, but we're, we're normally really careful. I mean, yeah, we don't we don't ever play anything. I mean, I've talked about my music, but I never play any of it while we're yeah. So it's something it picked up something. I don't know. But anyway, oh, yeah. Wow. I, I How can't many strikes my, do they get against you before they actually even take you off? <laughs> three. Are you serious? Yeah. They gave you a whole strike for. Mm. Yeah, that's stupid. But I guess if I'm a good girl for, and I went to um, copyright school, <laughs> and, <laughs> and um, I watched a stupid video, and I went to copyright school, and um, if I'm good, a good girl for 90 days, they, I think my strikes will, like, go away, and I can start over. I guess it's like a warning kind of thing instead. Yeah, they'll take it away. I'm like, whatever. It's, YouTube is so dumb. Yeah, I can't take my 10 suitcases to makeup in the hospital exactly. <laughs> You're so right, Kristen. Yeah, Be Bentley loves Lego sets too, Alyssa. Yep, yes, he does. He he does the Minecraft ones, though. Well, he does a lot of different ones, but he does like the Minecraft ones the best, I think. See, he's into that Minecraft stuff. I like I like um um uh PUBG player unknown battlegrounds. Oh, I don't know if I've heard of that. I don't know if I've heard it, it's basically PUBG. it's basically the um uh Fortnite but it's like realistic, you know. Uh it's not it's not all video gamey. Oh, 
at it. What's your favorite video game? Uh, probably like Madden, the football games, or uh, I mean that that's tough. I I played a lot of good ones, but my all-time favorite is a game called La Noire, and you're a police detective in the 1940s in LA, and you solve all kinds of cool crimes that are famous. That would actually be kind of interesting. I probably would mind doing like a game like that. Uh, I think you would like it because it's actually really simple and it's not complicated. Uh, it's, it's got some people love it, some people hate it. So yeah, I'm I'm not good with like the controls and all that. I never so I never play video games because I'm like I if I try to like play a a war game or whatever i die like right at the beginning and i so i just give up i don't play because i'm like yeah i can't be fast yeah. enough to do any of that so that's something i could probably do and i would probably like detective <laughs> game. you'd probably and be I, pretty good at it you know um what's it called again francesca wants to know the police video game uh, L.A. Noir, L-A-N-O-I-R-E. Uh, I have to look into that. Hi, Sh Cheyenne. How are you? What we're just up, talking. To, we were just talking about you saying how I, I met Blake through you because I worked with you at the hospital. Right. <laughs> oh. How are you feeling, Cheyenne? But yeah, um, I'll have to look at that. But what what council do you have to have to get that LA game? Uh, I believe it is uh, multi console Xbox 360, PC, uh, PlayStation. It, it, I don't think there's a. I don't think it matters. I have to look them because I, I don't know what my kids have. I think they have Xbox. I don't Xbox know. I, is the most common one, so. Yeah, that's probably they have that, and I. They may have a PlayStation. I don't. They well, just, PlayStation, oh, I, I think, is beating them. I think there's more PlayStation players than there are Xbox. Oh really? Yeah. I haven't played a video game since Nintendo back in the nineteen. Really. What nineties? And I played that's a long Mario. Time. Yeah, and Mario Brothers is what I played. <laughs> I haven't played video games since then. I play the mobile games on my phone, but I haven't played <laughs> a video ga game since what well, I Nintendo. When did it come out? Like nineties? Uh, the the sixty four. The first one. Uh, gosh, the Nintendo. Uh. The first one probably came out in the early 90s, late 80s, something like that. Yeah, yeah so I think I probably got it in the 90s then. Because I think, it, was I in high school then? When I, it, I think I was high school when I got it, my first one. Well, you're younger than my mom. My mom was, she graduated in 91. Yeah, I graduated in 97. Alyssa says, I love Minecraft and Call of Duty, and I have Xbox. Kenny has the PlayStation. Okay, got it. Francesca um, says, I play Touches every night before I go to bed. Hmm. I, don't know what I don't know what Touches is. I'm assuming. Tetris is that it. game where the, the shapes no. fall down as they. No. Not Tetris, Touches. Oh. I know what Tetris is. I played Tetris <clears throat> on Game Boy. Actually, was Game Boy after Nintendo? Uh. Because I did play Game. I did have it. Um, or my brother had the Game Boy, and I played Tetris on the Game Boy. Yeah, Tetris is cool. Yeah, that's what she meant. Oh, Tetris. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Tetris. I, I I tell people that in your life, whenever you're trying to organize, I'd be like, Have you ever played Tetris? All right, play Tetris with, 
whatever you're trying to organize. Do the same thing. <laughs> like whenever you're packing your bags, play Tetris. It, it it works, I'm telling you. That's what I that's what Ken tells me to do, but I just have him try to pack my bags. Oh like goodness. In, in my car. And I can't so pack my car up. <laughs> There's gotta be a rule against that, like cheating. Uh, I, <laughs> It's like home home alone. You're what the French call les compétents. <laughs> you actually say that good. I wouldn't. I I cannot repeat that when they say that. That's funny. <laughs> say that That's again. That's one of my favorite movies. Uh, some everybody, tell me your favorite '90s movie. I what love is your I, favorite. I do love um um. I do love Home Alone, but let's see, my favorite 90s movie. Oh, my gosh. I mean, Toy Story's got to be up there for me. Um, <laughs> Goodfellas was a really good movie. I think that came out in the late 80s, though. It may have been a 90s movie. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm a Disney person, so Beauty and the Beast would be mine. And uh, Titanic came out in the eighty or in the nineties. That was a really good movie. Um, Tamika, um, Blake is I way too. About you. Oh, I love that movie. Um, Blake is way too young for Game Boy. <laughs> yes, he's probably. I right. had a Game Boy. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. I had a Game Boy. <laughs> oh, she's yes, all I did that. indeed. I'm She's not that, that old. I'm not that that young. Right, Cheyenne. We played we played uh Happy Gilmore's a good one. Big Daddy. Yeah. I think little Nikki came out in the in the early two thousands though. She's all that crossroads. Ten things I hate about you. I love Big Daddy and Little Nikki. Happy Gilmore, yes. I'm not old. <laughs> yes, you're old, Ken. You're older than me. Billy Madison. Oh my gosh, Kenny. That was his favorite movie and he would repeat like almost every line especially the <laughs> very um the very beginning when um he was in the pool he would repeat that line over and over and over again it's like oh my gosh um <laughs> hi picante how are you thanks for coming in yeah all disney Hot movies sauce. in the night picante yeah. curry <laughs> Hey, is that a is that a reference to sports? Tell me, let's talk about sports. No, she does a uh, cooking channel. Oh, picante curry. I get it. She's got the sauce like curry. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's so cool. Good pun. Good pun. I like that. <laughs> Wedding singer. Yes, I love that one. I love Drew Barrymore. I'm I just she's my favorite. So yeah, she's yes, cool. wedding singer. Coneheads, yes. Clueless, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Clueless. Those are all I good love. '90s movies, man. Taking y'all oh, back. <clears throat> I know, and I love. Oh, another one I love with um, Alicia Silverstone is "Blast from the Past" with Brendan really? Fraser and uh, Alicia Silverstone. I uh, love Kevin, that movie. Kevin Costner and JFK. He that that movie he did that was a really good movie. Um. Oh, son-in-law, yeah. Oh no, man, I... anything that had, uh, uh, what what was it in the army now? Yeah, anything that had Polly Shore, he is just the awesomest. I didn't know there was an ET two coming. Is Drew Barrymore gonna be in it, Alyssa? Pretty Woman, I love. Oh gosh, I love Pretty Woman. Pretty um, Woman. Fool's Rush. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is an 80s movie, Cheyenne. Oh, it's still a good movie. I love the, I love the first I one. I believe it came out in 1988, 89, maybe. All the, all the people are coming back. So Drew Barrymore is too. Oh, awesome. I got to watch you too, too, then. Man, okay. and you try and make me guess my favorite 80s movie. That's so hard. That's not even fair. You can't do that. You can't put I, a favoritism on the best generation of movies. Yeah, like, I think the 80s, I think I would have to say The Rock. 
That was that eighties with Sean Connery. Uh, the the movie about Alcatraz. That's your favorite movie. Well, it's one of them. In Shawshank Redemption, what year? What decade was that? Uh, Shawshank Redemption. I believe that's a early two thousands, late nineties. Oh. Uh, Somewhere. Really, in there. I thought it was older. Oh, no. Forrest Gump was good. The Mask, I did like. Dirty Dance, yeah, Sturdy Dancing, Cheyenne. Oh, I'm glad, uh, Picante. Jamie in movies, she should get paid by Hallmark for all the hours of Hallmark. She, I know, that would be so great. Hallmark oh, movies don't count. Oh, yes, they do. Mm-mm. We've been over this, Jamie. <laughs> no, we haven't. Hallmark <laughs> movies are the bomb. <laughs> It's like it's best. just a rerun of Murder She Wrote with new people. <laughs> no, every because... story, every story is about a girl who goes back to her hometown and meets the guy again that she saw for the love, and they meet mingle together and blah blah blah, and then they get married and blah blah. blah. And then bye, Picante. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> um, but Blake, it's not <laughs> okay. It's it's similar plots, but it's still good. <laughs> it's still the best. Boys uh, in the Hood. Bo that's a yeah, good Boys movie. in the Hood. I I loved. Uh, um, oh, another favorite one of mine, and I can't remember. Is it eighties or nineties? Back Coming to the Future. Oh, I love Back to the Future. Um, but Coming to America, I love that movie. I wasn't and a then, big one. And then Ever After with, <laughs> Drew, with Drew Barrymore as well. That's one of my, that's like my favorite of all time is Ever After with Drew Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are fighting words, right, Kristen? <laughs> hey, but she agrees with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> League, oh, I love League of the, uh, their own. I always uh, tell Ken because Ken, and this might be TMI, but Ken, like, when he, in the morning, he, like, pees, like, probably for 10 minutes straight. I So I tell him, I'm like, you are Tom Hanks in the morning, you know, on the um, <laughs> League of the Road when he's sitting there peeing, <laughs> and, like, nonstop, and everybody's, like, looking at him. <laughs> Ooh, Sixth Sense, Cheyenne. That, I did like that movie, too. 50 First Dates, uh, I mean, even though Drew That's Barrymore's 2003, that, 2004. Is it? Uh, Men in Black, yeah. yeah, that was good. 50 That's First Dates, I, li I liked it, but it wasn't one of my favorites. Even though it has Drew Barrymore in it. We'll get but stuck it, on movies. Huh? I'll tell you my favorite 90s video game. Mario 64, hands down. I've only played Mario Brothers and Tetris. And did I play another one? Nope, that was all I played. So I, I couldn't tell you. Let yeah, go. I, I love Adam Sandler and I love Drew Barrymore. And so one of my other favorites is um, Blended because it has both of them in it. And I love that movie. Jerry Maguire's good too. Yeah, he's up there for me too, Cheyenne. I like Adam. I just grew up on his movies. There's so much nostalgia within my heart when I see Adam's movies. <coughs> Some of them are kind of dumb. I don't like, um, like, Click. Not to a young kid, they're not. <laughs> no, no, like the movie Click. I thought that was kind of dumb. Click? You thought Click was dumb? Yeah. I didn't really Okay, like I, I, I want to know your take on this. Tell me why. Because I love that movie so much. It just tells you how much to value your time. All the little things that frustrate you. All the things that just bother you and everything. You watch it go by in the blink of an eye. He's just trying to get through all that. And the next thing you know, he's an old, old man. And 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 it's all gone past him, and he's and he's laying there dying, 
and he tells him family comes first family comes first and it's just and then he wakes up and he's back and i mean it, it, don't let it go don't let time go by <laughs> Like it's just I, all about making your time matter. You do, all the little things that make you mad, enjoy them because you won't get them back. I think the reason I don't like it is because the ending, um, at the end, like you think that he, after he could be able to just click and like go back to the original start and not miss everything. Now that he learned that. All those things that annoy you, you don't, you got to embrace it. I think that would have been a better ending. No, see, he doesn't, he doesn't rewind his, his, his life. He, he can't rewind. Like once that, it already happens, it's like, it, it's like it he, he goes into replay. That's why it was dumb. It, it should have been, if, if you got a remote, you should be able to rewind and go back to the normal. At the end, after you realize that you don't want to fast forward to life, that would have been a much better ending. No, because the decision that that's the point of the movie. It's like life; the decision has already been made. Now you can pause it and you can rewind to what you were doing at that moment. You but get what I'm like, saying? You were there in that moment, but once it's done, it is it. it, it, it it's going with reality. It's like saying once it's happened, it can't be changed. You've already done it, you know. But, so you can go back and watch and see what happened, but, but you like can't you, change it. You can't change anything that's happened. But Blake, what I'm saying is like, so I watch a Hallmark movie, and you know, like the movies that are like, um, they have to repeat the day over and over and over and over again, and Finally, at the end, they get to they get to restart the or they get to go to the next day and um and go back to normal because they realized what it what was that they're missing, but they didn't lose their entire life. That's why I don't like the end. Well, I guess I guess just that's the good part of of movies is like you can make reality. And like how the universe would work within that movie to make it make sense. And if you are able to open and broaden it and look at it like as if, yeah, you can't you, like if you think in this movie, this is how it works. Like you, it, it's just like in life, you know, you can't go back and change it. Well, look at it like that in the movie, like the past has already happened, like you can pause it. And you can fast forward through it and go through it because you think like, oh, I don't want to do this. This is boring. This is dull. So you fast forward through it thinking that it's not going to matter. And then to the point that it's the it, it, you're auto, you're doing it all the time. You feel like that all the time. So. But what I'm saying is I wish at the end, after he realized all that, they would have gave him that second chance and let him go all the way back and not do that. They did. That would have been the they did do that. That's what happened. He, the, the, the person that gives him the remote is the angel of death. And at the end, he flashes and he wakes back up in the, in the bed, bath and beyond where he fell asleep. That's what happened. He falls asleep. It's it, it's pretty much all a dream. But but at the end of the movie, whenever he goes home and he's excited to see everybody and see that they're young again and they're not old, he he he's hugging them and then he goes into the kitchen and the remote is sitting there again and he said, "This time I know what you'll do the right thing." And and what did he do? He took the remote and he threw it in the trash. And he wiped his hands with it, and he said, "I'm not going to do that." <laughs> oh, so he gave okay. him a second chance. He he technically had that second chance that you're saying. I think you need to go back oh. and watch that movie again because yes, I I do. Then. <laughs> okay, because I okay okay. <laughs> See now it has the ending that I liked. So that is the ending. <laughs> That's how it's good. <laughs> All right, look, look, look. Next week, yes. Okay, that is a law. That is law right now. We're, we'll pick a movie. 
We'll talk about it. And then you go watch it. And then we'll review it. Okay, like what movie? This one. We're gonna do oh. we're gonna do click. Click first. But how am I gonna watch it? I have the movie in Georgia and I'm here in Illinois and I don't have a DVD player or anything. I have You don't need that. a DVD player. You can go on YouTube and rent it. I will send you the oh. money just so you can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have Hallmark, that's all I have. See, I, I will, I that. will, I will send you, go on YouTube and type the movie in and we will rent it. Yeah, I know, Cheyenne, we're in 2024. <laughs> you could get off of this podcast and go watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, like, I wonder if it is, uh, I wonder if it's on like Disney or something. Was it I Disney? don't think it's on, I, I can find out, uh, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. I'll tell you what it's on. <laughs> uh, click movie. <laughs> what? Hallmarks? No. How about it is. It is. Movie? It is available to stream on Peacock. Uh, Amazon Prime and HBO Ooh. Max. I have HBO Prime. And you can rent it on, in Apple TV for three dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> and I'm sure it's on YouTube as well. I only said YouTube because I know that's where you know to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you've got uh, Peacock, it's on Peacock. Okay, I will watch it. And we'll have this discussion next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Yes. Central. <laughs> now that... Have... Huh? Oh, man. We've been on it for 10... Oh, uh, we only got 10 minutes left. Oh, my goodness. We missed trivia. Should we do 10 minutes of trivia? <laughs> Let's just keep Blake. going. Blake loves trivia, you guys. <laughs> he he always don't. tries to he always tries know. to keep me yapping. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> I'm tired. I've been so busy working like a dog and <sighs> breathe. So you guys, I'm so excited. My troll hasn't been back in three days. Hey, do you still have our comment pinned on the top of the page? Mm-hmm. In the videos that, that you made the nasty comments. Keep that same energy, boo boo. I'm I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, Gosh, they look so hate. dumb when they do that. Well, and the thing is, there's a bazillion makeup channels. So uh -oh. you don't like you don't like how I do. Oh, are you okay? Sorry, oh, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. So if you don't like how I do my makeup, you don't have to watch me. Facts. So if you if if you hate it that much, go watch somebody else. You don't have I mean, to there, watch me. There's enough hate in people's heart. And, and or maybe then, maybe it's somebody that you know, and like they don't like you in like real know. life, and they found and like they heard about your channel or or something or seen it on your Facebook or something, and just went over to it and just started spamming you like i mean it, you know my shine my said it best yep but that's what i was thinking too but when i look um if she's trying to be if this person's trying to be incognito They're she made a the very bad job <laughs> yeah she made the channel in 2022 so why would if it was somebody i knew and I had my channel since 2021. 
So, um, yeah, 21 is when I started my channel. It, so you think that she would have, like, immediately, like, been harassing me, but waiting two years later to harass me? I don't know. So it, it could be. But, um, but the bad, but the thing is, like, everybody keeps telling her, you're actually helping her by the, you're watching her video, so I get a view, and she's leaving a comment, so that's helping my engagement. <laughs> no one hates Jamie, that's not possible. I, Kristen, obviously someone does. They and, and like the one thing that she keeps making a mention is my nail biting. Okay, <laughs> yes. I bite my nails. And I yes, I do hate that I bite my nails, but I've done it my entire life. Do you think I'm gonna get rid of that habit? No. I've and done it too. I've, it's terrible, but I mean you know, there's I've, worse things. You could at least you don't smoke cigarettes or nothing like that. Well, and the thing is, everybody has a habit of some sort. Mine just happens to be my fingers. And I can't mm -hmm. chop off my, well, I could chop off my fingers um, to mm -hmm. get rid of the habit. But that's what it would take probably for me to chop off my fingers to get rid of this habit. Seriously, that's right, Kristen. If, if anybody hates little old Jamie, then you just, you suck. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. You guys are too sweet, though. <laughs> there's a couple people that hate me you know like ken's mom <laughs> really yeah he she she's never liked me I, but, yeah. I, <laughs> but on, honestly i really think it's because she i i nobody would have been good enough for ken so i think it was just because i happened to be his wife and she didn't like it <laughs> so i don't I finally realized after 28 years not to take it personal because I don't think it's necessarily me. I think it's just nobody would have been good enough for her cat. <laughs> I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with that. Somebody's always going to hate you. That's true. Somebody's always going to hate you mm -hmm. no matter what. Exactly. Since we are getting closer to the end, Ken, if you could get my quote, because I know it takes a little long. <laughs> Jamie's beautiful with stubby nails and her colorful makeup, and even with no makeup, but the Chicago sweatshirt has to go. <laughs> no! I love my Chicago sweatshirt. It's never going. From never, Chicago. never, never. <laughs> yeah, miserable Chicago. people. Miserable people bring misery, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ken is an angel. <laughs> yes, he is sometimes, I guess. But um, You little whippersnapper. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, we're getting close to the end. So, Blake, do you have any last wonderful words for our chat? Man, I love you guys. Y'all are cool beans. He is the bee's knees. <laughs> you Natalie. know who is it? Natalie. Uh, all right, you, you guys. I want to hear you say that when she gets mad at you the first time, Cheyenne. Yeah, you're a villain in someone's story. I love that, Francesca. Okay, the riddle of the night is, what do you call a tired tree? <laughs> Saggy tree. Nope. <laughs> she won't because I'm awesome. Cheyenne says. Huh? Keep that same energy. <laughs> oh, not sappy. That's a good one, though. I do like that one. Probably better than my answer. <laughs> Any other guesses? It's called, or the answer is Sleepy Hollow. Oh. <laughs> That's kind right. of goofy. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you all so much for coming in. I appreciate uh, all your interaction. It makes my, 
our lives easier and fun for the chat. So thank you so much. And remember, you're all beautiful inside and out. Don't let anyone make you think differently. Not even those trolls. And the quote of the night comes from Booth Tarkington. Cherish all your happy moments. They make a fine cushion for old age. Yes. Love Heck it. Heck yeah. All right, you guys. Have a great night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Love you guys.